or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. So my upload schedule is Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would do so. Just hit that subscribe button. And if you have, thank you so much. I really appreciate it and welcome back. So today I'm very excited to be talking about some new perfume releases. And I'm entitling this video, Will I Try It? Which is a little bit of a spin on Samantha March's awesome um, video series called Will I Buy It? where she talks about new makeup releases every week and so she's got a great channel and a great playlist of Will I Buy It? videos and lots of other creators have done their take on those videos. So I'm doing my own perfume kind of related video on Samantha March's concept. So my scent of the day today is I'm wearing both Van Cleef & Arpels Orchidée Vanille and Lolita Lampica Sweet today layered. I always want to call this Vanille Orchidée, but anyway, so it's a delicious combination, very gourmandy, sweet, and as the name implies, and um, just delicious and cherry, and it's very yummy, so that's my scent of the day, and I do have some coffee going today, my Starbucks double shot on ice, yum. Okay, so I've been kind of scouring Fragrantica looking for some new releases that sound interesting to me. And of course with fragrance, I'm probably not gonna, I'm not even con contemplating buying all of these, but I am contemplating trying some of them. So um, I'm just gonna jump right into my list. So the first one I have is from Montal and this is Velvet Fantasy. It has solar notes, citruses, velvet fruits, rose, violet, incense, amber, and white musk. And this sounds beautiful. I've tried Montal and Mancera. I think they're um, connected brands or owned by the same company, I believe. And they are a very um, prolific um, niche company. They have a lot of different perfumes and fragrances in collections. So this Velvet Fantasy sounds really beautiful. When I hear solar notes, I am intrigued and I am, and actually a lot of the ones I'm going to be talking about today have kind of a summery or spring kind of a feel to them because here in, you know, the Western part of the world, of course, we are heading into spring. So um, anyway, this one sounds beautiful. I, um, I've had mixed results with my trying different Montal and Montserra. Um, perfumes. I've ordered samples in the past from Fragrance Net, and some of them I thought were really great, and some I thought were not so good. So I guess it's, you know, just a personal taste thing, obviously, like perfume always is. So this one, boy, I, that solar note, like I said, combined with incense and citrus and velvet fruits and rose and violet, this, this is one where I would love to try it, actually, if I can find a sample. I think I'm down with trying this one. The next one is from Rokas or Rochas. I think it's Rokas. And it's Eau de Rokas Escapade au Soleil. So Sun Escapade, I guess, or Sun Escape. Not sure. But it's got lemon zest, bergamot, cassis, jasmine, orange blossom, basil, ambergris, powdery notes, musk, white cedar extract. And I have not tried anything from Rokas that I can recall. So I know it's a very um, old French perfumer and I believe it's it's been around for a long time. And I know there's some on my list that I've wanted to try. I think I, I have a search set up for Mystere from Rokas because um, in Mercari where I'm searching for different fragrances. <laughs> um, and so I, I haven't tried a lot, if anything, from this particular house, but this one, um, this one sounds beautiful, but not maybe earth shattering or super groundbreaking given the different notes. And um, I don't know, this is one I'm definitely open to trying, but it's probably not the top of my list of the ones I'm gonna talk about today. So that's the um, Odorocus Escapade Au Soleil. And again, it sounds beautiful. These are all new releases that are coming out this month, I believe. So the next one is from Burdu, and this is 1902 Orange Fizz Eau de Cologne. Burdu is a French niche house that is available at Sephora in the US anyway. And so this one has orange, mandarin orange, orange blossom, freesia, amber, and white musk. And this one sounds really cool, really refreshing. And the idea of orange fizz, 
sounds very appealing to me. So this is one that I would say, yes, I would like to try this one. Um, especially because I know that it's at least somewhat available at Sephora. I can order it from Sephora potentially. I don't think they stock all Burdue, but they do have a selection of Burdue fragrances. So with all that orange and freesia and amber and white musk, yeah, that sounds really good to me. So that's a try. The next one is from Lolita Lampica. And I talked about this in a video recently, but I'm just going to touch on it again. It's Lolita Lampica Original. So they are coming out with the original formulation from 1997. Apparently they've reformulated it a couple times. And so this has bergamot, anise, licorice, iris, tonka bean, vanilla, pralines, patchouli, musk. If you um, watch my channel much, you know I'm a huge fan of Lolita Lampica. It's my favorite house. I've done a whole video on my Lolita Lampica collection. I think they're fantastic. I love these fragrances. Um, this, however, is something I will not necessarily try because I think I have the original um, formulation. Um, among others. So my Lolita Lempica collection is busting at the seams. <laughs> it's a lot. So this is definitely not high on my list, although I'm sure it's nice. Um, one of the things they, they did say about this one is it's going to be vegan. And I know that their recent Ohm version for men is vegan and we have that one. Um, so this one is vegan and supposedly does not contain endocrine inhibitors. Is that it? Yeah. Um, so supposedly does not contain endocrine inhibitors, which I guess is a good thing. Um, I'm not sure if I really buy into the endocrine, endocrine inhibiting um, concern, but I don't know. So um, anyway, not going to try this one necessarily, but I think it's, it's still a beautiful bottle. I kind of like the original bottle a little better, but... You know, some people think this is a little bit unnecessary. Other people are excited. So I'm kind of in the middle. I guess I don't have a strong feeling about it either way. The next one is from 4160 Tuesdays. And this is called Meet Me on the Corner. It has lemon, mandarin, mandarin orange, clementine, magnolia, sandalwood, bergamot, oak moss, musk, styrax, and patchouli. And um, this sounds very pretty. Magnolia. I really like Magnolia. So, um, so yeah, this one sounds nice and fresh. And I know I've heard really good things about 4160 Tuesdays. I haven't tried them. Um, I'm kind of putting this one in the middle, not necessarily a uh, need to try it, but it sounds nice. And I'm kind of interested, I guess. The next one is from DS and Durga called Crystal Pistol. And this one is intended to be a a enha an enhancer. So I'm picturing kind of like a Molecule 01 or one of the Molecule from Eccentric Molecules type of fragrance where you can layer it. So I think they're intending this to be kind of a layering fragrance. It has orange flower water, dew on petals, pink pepper, crystal flower parts, paradisone, jasmine water, civetone, white musk, and brett seeds. So it sounds pretty and refreshing and interesting. Um, but I don't necessarily buy into the, you need to have a special fragrance to layer. Like I said, I'm layering today. I just kind of layer when I feel like it. I have a whole video on layering combinations that I like. Um, so that is my feeling on having a specific fragrance geared towards layering. I think it's kind of unnecessary, but I'm not opposed to it. Um, I've heard good things about this brand. This is another brand I haven't tried, but I'm interested, but maybe not necessarily with this one. And then the last one I have is from Police, which is an Italian fashion house. And this is called To Be Sweet Girl. And um, it's an interesting bottle. Um, they have a lot of interesting bottles from Police. It's not widely available here in the US, but I know I've seen some of them on FragranceNet. So I've always been kind of interested in trying them. So this one has bergamot, blackcurrant, orange, cyclamen, toffee, jasmine, and broxen, patchouli, and cashmere wood. So that sounds really beautiful to me. And if I could come across a sample of this, I would really like to try this one. And um, the bottle, you know, say what you will about it. I find it kind of fun and kind of interesting. So um, yeah, the police, not the police, that's the 80s band that are awesome. But that's another, that's another video. But anyway, police, the Italian fashion house that also has a perfume line. This one sounds cool and um, I love the note combination um, when you're putting together toffee, ambroxan, patchouli, jasmine, 
orange cyclamen black currant. This sounds pretty cool. So this is one I would actually really like to try. So do you have your eye on anything new or what's on your what's on your list? I'd love to hear about that in the comments. Also, what kind of videos are you interested in seeing from me? I would love to hear about that in the comments too. So thank you so much for being here today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you again very soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.